Apple is reportedly close to a deal that would put OpenAI software on the iPhone. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headline Edition, all the AI headlines you need in around five minutes. We kick off today with a follow-up of a story we've been tracking, which is Apple's plans around AI partners for its forthcoming iOS update. Initially, it looked like Apple would be putting Google AI on the iPhone, but now, more recently, it seemed like a deal is getting close with OpenAI. At the end of last week, Bloomberg reported that Apple was closing in on an agreement with OpenAI to use ChatGPT features in Apple's iOS 18, which is the next iPhone operating system which is slated to be announced at the Worldwide Developer Conference in June. According to the piece, Apple is still discussing with Google, but it appears that the ChatGPT deal is a little bit closer. This would obviously be a huge coup for OpenAI, so the story is actually one that I'll be watching closely. Speaking of OpenAI, in advance of yesterday's spring update event, Sam Altman did an AMA on Reddit that had some interesting details. Some of the more interesting comments have now gotten more context after that event. For example, someone asked, Will you making this new model mean that we will have ChatGPT4 and the current DALI free? To which Sam Altman replied the eyes emoji. And yesterday, OpenAI did indeed announce that their most advanced model, GPT-4.0, was going to be free for everyone, meaning that it was even better than what Anklebiter 50 had been looking for. There were, however, some other ideas that were represented here, which might be a little bit new. After the model spec release last week, people were talking about how OpenAI seemed to be interested in ethical porn, and Allman seemed to confirm that, saying, We really want to get to a place where we can enable not safe for work stuff, e.g. text erotica gore, for your personal use in most cases, but not do stuff like make deepfakes. A lot of people commented on the weird choice of using gore as a reference point, but this does seem to confirm that this is something that OpenAI is really interested in, not just some idle speculation. Another interesting one came from FMS USA, who asked, Based on these model specs, do you believe LLMs such as ChatGPT might one day be expected to have an ethical duty to report known criminal activity by the user? Altman replied, In the future, I expect there may be something like a concept of AI privilege, like when you're talking to a doctor or a lawyer. I think this will be an important debate for society to have soon. ID Forgotten made a comparison that I had mentioned between the model spec and Anthropic's constitutional AI. They write, Both seem to encode some desired behavior. How would you differentiate model spec from the constitutional approach? Altman responded, Model spec is about operationalizing principles into technical guidelines. Anthropic's approach is more about underlying values. Both useful, just different focuses. Another person asked about echo chambers. Data delivery writes, Do you think it could be harmful to society if users have the ability to transform a chat GPT chat into their personal echo chamber for a fringe view on demand? Altman responded, We are not exactly sure how AI echo chambers are going to be different from social media echo chambers, but we do expect them to be different. We will watch this closely and try to get it right. Something that a lot of people have been discussing recently is whether LLMs have reached a plateau. Altman was clear on his answer to this, saying that they definitely had not. Finally, he said that despite his meme, AGI had not been achieved internally. Speaking of Anthropic, they recently released a really interesting feature that basically allows you to create more effective prompts. This is a trend that we've been seeing for some time. The prompt generator takes a plain language explanation of what you're looking for and turns it into what it believes will be a really strong prompt. This, I think, shows a preview of the future where AIs aren't just receiving the prompt, but are also actually helping to write the prompt. Staying on the topic of Anthropic for a minute, reports suggest that their iOS app launch has not gone quite as well as they might have hoped. TechCrunch characterizes it as a tepid reception. The app got as high as number 55 on the top free iPhone apps in general, but it no longer ranks within the top free iPhone apps in general in the U.S., It ranks as 51 in the top free productivity apps, down from a high of number five in that category. First week installs overall reached 157,000. The numbers show the power of first mover advantage in this space. By day seven, Claude had received about 8,000 downloads, as opposed to ChatGPT's app, which was getting 256,000. Lastly today, Meta seems to like what's happened with its Ray-Bans, where it takes an existing form factor that people are already wearing and turns it into an AI integrated object, and is apparently now exploring AI-assisted earphones. The information writes, Meta Platforms is exploring developing AI-powered earphones with cameras, which the company hopes could be used to identify objects and translate foreign languages, according to three current employees. CEO Mark Zuckerberg has seen several possible designs for the device, but has not been satisfied with them. It's not clear if the final design will be in-ear earbuds or over-the-ear headphones. Internally, the project apparently goes by the name Camera Buds. Holding aside any of the details, it makes a ton of sense to me why Meta is exploring this path. As a wave of first-generation AI wearable companies runs up against the wall of reality in terms of real consumer usage, 
Meta's AI-integrated Ray-Bans continue to get rave reviews. So perhaps the secret is just to build AI into the things that people are already wearing. For now, though, that is going to do it for the AI Daily Brief Headline Edition. Next up, the main episode.